Hey guys, before today's video, I just wanted to wish y'all a very safe and happy 4th of July. Hope you all stay safe and have an amazing day lighting off fireworks and cooking out and grilling and being with family. And with that, uh, let's get right into the video. What's going on guys? Chilled here. Back with another Pokemon card opening. And in today's opening, we will be doing a 3-pack of a 210s and a Pokeball or an Ultra Ball um, from Sam's Club. Uh, I was actually not the one that picked this up. My uh, my dad actually picked it up and brought it home. Uh, it's like, hey, you... I know you open these a little bit as I just bumped the mic really hard. Hopefully that didn't pick up bad. But, uh, yeah, he always he always asks about stuff to look out for when he's he's out, and this is the first one he's he's bought. So I'm definitely gonna definitely gonna want to make a video of it, see if I get anything good. Which I've opened up a couple of the mini tins before, which in these you're gonna get. I guess I should explain it. Um, the mini tins you're gonna find two booster packs per uh, mini tin and a coin card or a coin uh, and then the little art that shows once you have all five of them and then the ball has a coin and three packs so uh, let's go with the let's go with the Mew first and then uh, we'll work our way back Gosh, dang, that is loud. I hope that's not really loud on the camera. I thought this was going to be a lot easier of a tear. And it's... Okay, it kind of was. Alright, so in the Mew with the Psyduck that's fainted or confused type of thing, you know, in the back, we have some... We have a Entei coin, pretty cool. Have a crimson invasion, you know, kind of sucks. But in evolutions, so can't can't complain with the crimson invasion in evolutions. Then got the nice little thing over there. We will close this up. Open these. I might as well open them all. Oh, at least these two. It has the really bad little hanger box looking thing. Plastic hanger. That's one had two of them. Are you kidding me? This better have something crazy. I better be pulling Charizards in these. <laughs> Which I don't know about like the on the products like this, how they how they work if it's like a like, if all of a sudden this had an Evolutions, this had an Evolutions, this had an Evolutions, is there a possibility that you pull, like, three Charizards or something like that? Or is it still kind of like you're only guaranteed certain things and, like, a sealed product? I don't get to open a lot of a lot of this, so another Entei. I wonder if it's going to be kind of the same. Crimson Invasion. Evolutions. I mean, Crimson... The Evolutions makes up for the Crimson Invasion. Got the Dragonite. Toss that back there. Oh, put that right here. We will go ahead and open up the two Crimson Invasion. See what we can get. Don't think there's like an actual card in here to pull. Um, so we will just go ahead and kind of blaze through it. Zoellis, Astrodon, Sea of Nothingness, just like this set. Execute, Stuffle, Magic Carp, Remoraid. Mankey, Reverse Hollow Stuffle, and Mamoswine. 
<coughs> Alright. Which is fine. I mean, if if it's these products you're only guaranteed a hit in, per one, I don't want it to be in Crimson Invasion. I want it to be in that Evolutions. Good news with the Evolutions is you get the Reverse Hollow Charizard 2, which doubles your odds. Skiddo, Starly, Numel, Chimeco, Funnelby, Reverse Hollow Jingma O, and Regirock. Let's see what's in here real quick, because if there's some more evolutions, I will save that to the end. If not, I'll open up. Whatever. Evolutions is one of my favorite sets. Personally, because I saw kinda I'll play I'll play biased when we rarely get to open up that. Okay. As I just like peeled this. We got a Volcanion coin. Nice. All three red. We have a Sun and Moon, a Burning Shadows, and a Breakpoint. So we do not have the Evolutions. But uh, got some more X and Y. And Burning Shadows also has a Charizard. Uh, Sun and Moon real quick. Put off the evolutions as much as possible. Because for some reason we get lucky. I want that to be the, the you know, the big the big shebang. The Rotom decks, Pat Simeon, How, Drowsy, Rowlet, Alolan Grimer, Spiro, Grubbin, Reverse Hollow Energy Switch, and a Decidueye GX. Okay. Um, kind of decent centering. Maybe more on this side. And then maybe bottom to top. Yeah, I think maybe more. Slightly more. Holding it at a funny angle, so that might just be the angle. But, uh, I mean... Nice... Nice start. That was my uh, oh break point. I literally went to a little thrift shop as of the day I'm recording this on Saturday, and there was a thrift shop in there that had a bunch of break point, some X and Y evolutions. I mean, it was all retail price stuff, so it was it was good, good stuff in there. It was just that a bunch of them were just like single packs sitting in like a little bin. It was in a case, so it's not like someone could just easily walk up and weigh them all. But they had also a bunch of Japanese cards, like booster sets and everything, sitting next to it that were still in their booster box. So I felt like that guy was just seeing those and picking them up. And that's the only thing that made me feel a little worried about um, picking up some. Because if not, if you guys don't care, um, I can pick up some Sun and Moon, like bulk Sun and Moon. Um, just Crimson Invasion, when I'm not opening that up. Uh, Breakpoint, Evolutions, um, and then just a bunch of Japanese sets. Um, they won't be like booster box openings or anything like that, but it would be just, you know, different sets that um, aren't crazy markups, so I can I could go in there and just not guarantee that at all that we're getting a hit, because I'm sure that guy's just picking up, or that person is just picking up and whatever. But we have a Seismitoad. Alright. We'll end off with the three chances of the Zard. Let's hope. Okay. Moment of truth. Can we get Yep, Poe Town. Weakness policy. Heat more. 
Sandigast, Venipede, Sneasel, Alolan Vulpix, Horsey, Reverse Hollow Beware, and Butterfree. Okay. Save Charizard for the last. Oh, come on. It's astonishing the amount of people that interrupt me in like a 15 minute period. But we push on. And we got some upside down ones. Professor's Oak, Coughing, Maintenance, Energy, Growlithe, Ghastly, Charmander, Radita, Reverse Hollow Nidorino, and a Mega Pidgeot EX. When we get a hit, not one that we're looking for. All for nothing on this one. Here we go. Blastoise Spirit Link, Misty's Determination, Poliwhirl, Bullpix, Electabuzz, Magikarp, Ghastly, Sandshrew, Clefairy, and Electro. Okay. Well, we got the Mega Pidgeot EX and the Sedui GX as our two hits. Not bad. I mean, we're getting some evolutions in them so if you can somehow able to get into a sam's club be on the lookout for them uh i wasn't told what the prices are i didn't look them up i'd say 20 to probably like 25 bucks i think i think i've been in there before and got something somewhat similar before but um yeah if you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe i have a playlist full of all the pokemon and all the sports cards if you are interested and I uh, hope you guys have a good one, and bye-bye.